That is right, 25 easy but awesome trampoline flips you can learn right now on your garden trampoline. Pay attention, by the end of this video you'll see tons of clear examples and hear the tips and the tricks to learning these moves. But you gotta focus! Starting off with the basic but super awesome side flip. Throw the leading arm down as you bounce up with your legs, tuck during the apex, untuck, and land. All right, the next basic flip, the front tuck, also known as the front flip. You're gonna wanna jump up, throw your arms down, bring your butt up, whip around, open up at about 45 degrees, and land. All right, the trusty back flip, also known as the back tuck. Jump almost straight up, lean back slightly, bring the knees in, continue your momentum backwards, you will spot the ground right when your head goes over, and land. Is this too scary? Well, not to worry, because coming up, I have plenty of moves and hacks that can help you learn this flip. The best move for the beginner backyard backflipper, the hack flip. This move can really help you get over the backflip fear. What you're gonna do is you're gonna choose a shoulder that you prefer. I like my left shoulder. And you are going to basically spot the trampoline the entire time during the flip and you can whip your legs over like a backflip using the bounce of the trampoline for power. This totally eliminates all the fear of going backwards and gives you supreme confidence. All right, once you get the back tuck, backflip, or hack flip down, you can start doing some sweet but awesome backflip variations. Starting with the back layout, it's basically just a whip backwards without the tuck, fully extending the body head first, chest, stomach, feet length. All right, next we have the back stall. It starts off like the back layout, but then you bring your knees in like the back tuck, finishing your rotation. I like to look to the same side as I look for the hack flip because this makes this move a little less scary for me. All right, one of my favorite back flip variations, the rodeo. What you're going to do is you're going to jump up like a regular back tuck, but grab your ankles in the front. As you rotate around, you're going to thrust your chest forward and it's going to open you up. Hold on to the ankles until you spot the ground, you're ready to land, untuck, and land. The front 180, one of the easiest flips to learn in my opinion, but it looks super cool. All you need to really do is combine the front flip with the side flip or just think spot the ground the entire time. This forces you almost into a front 180. How about the back 180? This one you need a little more control, I've noticed. Basically do a backflip with a slight 180 turn. The Arabian, wait a minute, isn't that just a back 180? Well, in my opinion, they're slightly different. The Arabian is more of a 180 turn combined with a front tuck, while the back 180 is a backflip with a gradual 180 turn. As you get better with your spinning power, you should try the front full. Super awesome looking flip, but also pretty easy. Basically, it starts out the same as the front 180. Opposite arm leaning in towards the opposite knee to start the turn, but you gotta add an extra 180 turn, a 360. You can do it. All right, the back full. Honestly, I think this is a little easier than the front full, but a little more scary. You can approach this kind of like a hack flip, leaning towards the shoulder you like the most, tuck the arms in to initiate the spin, after the 360, land. Alright, to the back, still having trouble going backwards, try to learn the pull over. Way less scary than the back flip, but it gives you a little more than half of the rotation. You can use your heels to hit the trampoline after your back to help initiate the back rotation. You can go pull over to your feet, or you can go pull over to your back if you just hold the tuck. And then that'll give you a full 360 rotation, almost like a backflip on your back, right? All right, really cool, the front ball out. You want to switch your momentum to the front, doing a full front flip after you land on your back. This one's easier to get momentum, but requires you to do basically a quarter more of a spin because you're going to go forward and then land on your feet. So you're going to have to spin a little bit faster than a normal front flip at the same height. If you're ready for it, you can do it. Sick of all these flips. <laughs> Why not do the cat twist? Still looks pretty cool. Can help you with other moves like the 360 dive roll, which I can't even do. I like it. Basically just use your arms, one leg to help initiate your momentum. You can channel this into kabooms and other variations. Nice little thing to add to your trampoline arsenal. All right, next up we have the gainer. 
the old school gainer. This is basically a forward traveling backflip. You want to get used to jumping across your trampoline at first and then use that same momentum but throw in a backflip using the arms. I highly recommend putting the net up for this one. Alright, moving on to some cool one-legged tricks, the cheat gainer. You're going to want to kick one leg and jump off of one leg. Swing up with the arms. Carry your momentum over like a backflip. You can either land on both legs or the leg that you kicked with. Taking this one step further with the gainer switch. Exactly the same as the gainer, but you want to bring the leg that you jumped off of the trampoline with all the way back around, land on it, and then swing that other leg through and do another one. And another one. As many as you can without flying off the trampoline. Be careful, I would also highly recommend a net for this one. I would recommend a net for all of these, but I don't put mine on for filming purposes. Alright, moving on to the next cool one like a trick, the classic cork. You start just like a cheat gainer or a gainer switch. Bring your arms through, bring them to the side, and use the same momentum as the back fold. Tuck your arms in to get the spin. 360 plus a gainer, open up, land. Alright, the most beneficial tricking trick to learn on the trampoline first, the B-twist. What you want to do is have your leading foot facing in towards the center of the trampoline. You want to dip your upper body down, pop your butt up a little bit, do a 360, wrap around, tuck your arms in, open up and land. The great thing about the B-twist on the trampoline is it's very similar to the ground and can really help you land it on the ground if you're struggling, if you even care. Alright, the back 1.5. I guess this would be a good prerequisite for the double back, but also a great move to channel into other moves, like the ball out. Basically gonna do one back flip, keep your legs tucked in, roll around to the back, bounce off and land. Bonus! How about the Cody? The Cody is basically a back flip off of the stomach. Alright, getting a little funky with this one. Trampoline mills. If you can figure this out, it looks trippy. All your friends will be questioning you. But if you're into b-boying, you know exactly what you're doing. Basically, you're just doing a windmill on the trampoline, but using the bounce on the back. Or maybe I was just running out of ideas. Alright, the front dive. Also called the front stall. Add a little spice to your frontwards flips. Dive forward, pause for a second, and then bring your legs in. Into a front flip or a side flip. Land on your back or your feet. Alright, the cider flip. Cider man. Cider, apple cider flip. You can either do a back flip, a hack flip, a sideways flip. Oh, just so you know, the cider and apple cider isn't spelled with an S. Don't want anybody to be misinformed. Alright, one more bonus. The monk flip, or the low flip. As low as you can go. Try to skim your head. Very dangerous. Don't recommend. Just keep your neck tight. His form is so terrible to the point it scares me. Alright, finally, the knee flip. Are you tired? Had a long day? Don't feel like flipping off your feet? Well, flip off your knees. And then land on your feet. The front knee flip is way easier than the back knee flip. Honestly, the back knee flip pretty hard so if you had a long day don't recommend that oh bonus sitting back flip if you guys need more in-depth instruction on any of those flips check out the links in the description i have tons of tutorials already made thank you guys so much for your positive feedback i hope you guys enjoyed that video don't forget to subscribe and turn those notifications on more 25 videos coming and other videos coming out y'all have a good one and i'll see you in the next video